Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. Welcome back. Today I have a Thanksgiving card. I love the season of Thanksgiving and we'll be working on this cute wheelbarrow under a tree. So to start with, I'm using Cricut images and layers. They're all cut at three inches. That's this wheelbarrow base and some of the outline that you'll see that adds the detail layers to the wheelbarrow. I take a little Distress ink. This is kind of a greenish olive color paper and it's a little distressed looking paper but I like adding this rusty hinge to give it a little worn feeling. So I'll take my little dauber here and some of the ink and I just rub it into places that I feel would make it look a little rusted out. Just kind of blend that out the best I can. And then I'll take a little bit, little bit of this walnut stain and add some def, depth to it. So it gives it a little more of a rounded look on the tires and a little bit of extra shading on this layer that will be adhered over the base of our wheelbarrow. It's hard to see in the video, I know, but it does add a little bit of shading just to give the pieces and parts some dimension. I'll get this all adhered together. And the little bitty pieces go on the handle here. All right, and then it comes with these leaves as part of the Cricut layout layers, and you just try to figure out where that goes. You know, there's no instructions really on the Cricut cutout, so you have to figure it out, which is fine. So I've got some reddish rust looking leaves going there, and then there's some darker brown leaves. And, and the base from your wheelbarrow, you know, gives you the green leaves. So there's that. I have a few extra leaves, but actually I prefer this Fisker's Punch. And I'll be using several of these contrasting fall colors to punch out a few of these leaves. And you know me, I've got to mention the dimension. Because I like dimension on my cards. I don't like them to look so flat. So after I get all these leaves punched out, I will um, add a little bit of shading to the existing leaves that are part of that Cricut cutout, giving them a few veins, some shading in different colors, and I'll go through that on each of the leaves and also on those that I punched out as well. All right, so I don't know about y'all, but I just love Thanksgiving. Um, of course, I love the true meaning of Christmas as well, but Thanksgiving is so much more relaxed to me. There's no gifts to buy. It's just about getting together with family and friends, recalling what you're thankful for, and this time of the year, of course, very thankful for everybody's health. Okay, now I'm pulling in this McGill's molding mat for those punched leaves. And as you've seen me do many times, I use a little stylus and apply light pressure on the mat, which just gives the leaves a little bit of natural curl. So here's a close-up of those. They've been shaded and curled up with the, the mat. Then I'll go ahead and adhere these quickly. And you're going to see how much life this brings to this flat wheelbarrow. Just this extra little step I think is worth it. And here we go. Getting our wheelbarrow all full of these leaves that somebody raked up. And then I'll take my white gel pen and add just a little bit of highlights along this frame of my uh, wheelbarrow and the wheel. Again, I, keep, I think that keeps things from looking so flat. 
Okay, I'm going back in with a little bit more of that walnut stain and just running it along the bottom of my wheelbarrow to round it out a bit. All right, that's looking good. There's a close-up of our wheelbarrow with all the details at it. Next I'll be using the leafy tree trunk embossing folder and this does a great job of adding some background dimension to the card without taking away from the focal point of the wheelbarrow. Then I'm going to use a little bit of this textured looking paper to make a couple of little hills on the bottom of my card. I'll get that adhered down. By the way, that uh, leafy tree trunk is from Doris, that embossing folder, and I've used it on many, many cards. So for this top layer of my little hill, I've used a little bit of foam tape so that it stands out from the one behind it. And then I'm taking my pen and I'm just going to run it along that foam tape so that the white part does not show when it's adhered on top of the other hill. Okay, I'll get that all stuck down at there at the bottom of my card. This gives me a dimensional hill for my wheelbarrow. Okay, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it does stand off from the background. Okay, then I'll just glue down my wheelbarrow. Get that all, all these little pieces and parts adhered down to the front of my card. I think that works out well sitting under that embossed tree there in the background. Alright, then I use my Spellbinders Fall Leaves Card Creator dies to cut out the word thankful and I'll adhere that right along the bottom and it's okay that it overhangs the bottom a bit because this is going to go on my 5x7 card base. So it's truly okay that that's hanging over. And I thought I needed a few leaves that have fallen out of the wheelbarrow onto the ground or maybe out of the tree and still on the ground and haven't been raked up yet. Wherever your imagination takes you, go with it. I like to work in threes, so there's my three little leaves. Just to round out that end of the card. Okay, here's my card base and I chose a rust color and I'm going to adhere that to the card and I also use that embossing folder for the inside sentiment and lined my envelope. Then I used my Momenta clear stamps to adorn my envelope and there is our finished card. The front, inside, signature stamp and all done. There's a uh, acorns and the leaves on my envelope lined to coordinate with that card. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you got inspired to give it a try. Thank you for visiting. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy crafting, everyone.